As always, have a great, great afternoon. Fights don't always go as planned, and it's worse when you talk trash before the fight and end up losing in a bad fashion. So let's take a look at when talking trash goes wrong. I asked for this fight because, like I said, I belong here and I need this opportunity like this. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna showcase my, my, my definitely my talent. It's gonna show that I definitely belong with the top fighters. You're in my hometown, kid. You're in my hometown. You're in trouble. If you're, you're, going in my, you're in New York City. Fight, you're in trouble. You don't know nothing about New York City. All You're right. a Cali boy. All right. I'm a small fighter. I got high IQ, baby boy. I'm fast on my footwork. Hands speed crazy. You will find out Saturday night. Saturday night is, is no different. It's another day in the office, another opponent in front of me. And you're going to see what, what I'm about on Saturday night for sure. All, all I got in my mind is coming out victorious. So, and, and I'm and I'm confident about that. That's that's like 100%. He's number 56 in the world. What, what, why is he saying that, you know? I don't understand, but Saturday, like I said, he's gonna find out. It, it, there's levels to this. After all the trash talk and the fight at the weigh-in, Jose Cepeda showed Vargas that there is levels to boxing. Deep in his career. Oh, big left hand, and Vargas goes down face first. Man. Who's got courage? The legs of God on Jose Vargas, and this fight's over. This fight is done in two less than two minutes. Chancepeda says there's levels to this game, kid. At 23 year old, years old, you got to be careful what you ask for. Uh, I told him in the press conference, uh, there's levels to this.